How you going? Now, I know that we've already had our grand adventure into the outback to reclaim and revitalize the Tasmanian tiger population. However, if you think that their job is going to be done just because they slapped down the cassowary one time, you're going to be sorely mistaken, because now it's time to start rescuing the outback from everything else that's been going on. Welcome everybody to Tie the Tasmanian Tiger 2 Bush Rescue for the Nintendo Switch. Electric yep. Bushaloo. G'day, mates. This was a uh, game that I definitely played a lot of back on the PlayStation 2, and... Uh, I, I mean, first of all, game, the game the first Tie the Tasmanian to ta Tie the Tasmanian Tiger, sorry, uh, re <laughs> revamped and, you know, remade or, you know, all that stuff ported up for current gen consoles. That was still awesome. Uh, the minute that they announced the follow-up Kickstarter to get the sequel up there, I was <sighs> definitely excited. Literally because, just... Uh, they oh, were in a single day. Just... In a single day, goddamn day, they were able to meet their, their quota and then some. Because nice. I would argue that Tie the Tasmanian, to tie the Tasmanian Tiger 2 really like evolves on and builds up from the first game tremendously so with that said uh let's just get started and start ourselves off with a new game so we're going to be uh there's normal mode and then there is hardcore mode oh god don't, basically don't, permadeath don't don't go don't go punishing yourself that badly this is i don't think this is the kind of game that warrants that kind of play style yeah nah, i think we're good so let's do it kind of makes you wonder why they even bother adding it into the game I th it might have been a holdover from the original, like, Thai 1 re-release, as far as I'm aware. Well, did it work any better there? Food. I'd say so, just anyway. because this one isn't quite as linear, for lack of a better word. Yep. It actually takes, I would say, a few... Wow! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I know a shortcut. It actually, I think, takes a few uh, cues from Should Jack to actually, in terms of being mission-centric and definitely up on the stakes a bit more. Look at this. Speak of the Tasmanian Hey, general. you. I'll, it does up the ante in I many different ways. The voice acting, unfortunately, is not one of those things. Whoa. Yeah, like, with yeah, the exception they did, they of... they did replace some of the cast. Yeah, I, as far as I know, the only actors that weren't replaced were boss casts and... Uh, what was the name of the white bird again? Your time. That's a, uh, that's a, what's his name, um, uh, Murray? No, oh, Murray. Is it Murray. Murray or Murray? I, I forget. I think it's Murray. One of their mates has holed up at the old barracks. Oh, oh hey, Sly. And yeah, no, after, after his uh, turn of heart at the very tit, tit end of the, of the last game, uh, Sly's officially our partner. If we follow yep. this road, and it'll not only, the and not only that, we got ourselves, okay, uh, let's go. Uh, as we'll learn later, uh, they do actually do a good amount of job of keeping uh, consistency in that uh, a lot of Ty's family is... Whoa, jeez. Well, a lot of Ty's uh, family is still um, ni nice and uh, recovered and everything. So it's really nice to see him build upon that. I mm -hmm. believe, uh, if I'm correct the way it works, uh, I know that Ty's parents are running a shop. And I want to say Ty's sister and boyfriend are doing something else as well. I forget. But, that, but we'll, 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 we'll run into them a few times. Is it, weird that I for, is it weird that I forgot Ty had a, also had a sister? Yeah, they, they, it's, it's a, they, they run a very small uh, off the... Uh, whoops, that was the wrong way to bite. Uh, they, they run a very <laughs> small vendor elsewhere. So, already as you're seeing, uh, despite my uh, attempts to keep up with all this, because I'm playing this live to honor how uh, James covered his the first game live. Get on out um, here. As you're seeing, fortunately, the game does control pretty much the exact same as uh, the first TIE game awesome. did. Uh, it had your simple, you know, boomerangs to be wheeled in against people. You can bite. Uh, and ow. you want to defeat all the enemies to get all the... Well, now. Uh -oh. And to get as many of the opals as you can, which are this game's currencies. Yeah, unlike last time, where opals were primarily just there as a means to get an additional um, thunder egg. Uh, yeah, they're your currency for the shops. And, um, actually, speaking of Thunder Eggs, I don't think those are anywhere to be seen in this game. This this game goes I, for a completely different style of progression. Yeah, I don't believe... Yeah, it, it is It is pretty much just, uh... Oh, there it is. So then I can go into gyroscope mode Ah, uh, yes, tie vision. Hey, get down from there. Sorry, uh, I, 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 know you, I know you said tie. Discord made sound like you said pie vision. Tie vision... No, no, what I was thinking pie, I was thinking like cherry pie or strawberry pie. Well, that's I what I meant. They... Although you do want, you do want to keep an eye out though. Pies are still our means of a uh, collect of collecting health in the field. Uh, what's up, James? Was it still pies? I thought they, re I thought they replaced them with a like a generic like paw icon. And oh shit, the big nibbies are back. Jeez. Oh, just get a 
couple of hits off them, break their armor, and bite them. So I guess so I guess we can go ahead and uh, maybe bring a little, try to get everyone up to speed. So last game we were able to defeat Cass, um, and uh, since then he's actually been hold, he's pretty much been imprisoned at the local uh, the ju local juvie, maximum Whoa. security prison. Uh, and unfortunately, it would appear as though they're trying to pull a Mega Man Seven and trying to bust him out. Pretty much, uh, on a pretty grand scale, I might add. Like again, this is definitely a lot more action-packed than anything you'd ever see in the Lawson, original game. We have to get to the other side Absolutely, of the look at all this. See that battle, Banya? It's like Maybe you I'm not Paulson, I'm a tiger. <laughs> uh, again, I think I think that's just a cute nickname, considering they are technically a couple. And uh, yeah, no, like. Uh, another thing uh, to really up the ante, now there's actually a bigger focus in riding uh, mechanical vehicles. Known as the Battle Bunyips, which on that note, I guess if there's one thing that I suppose could be said for Tie the Tasmanian Tiger 2, is that a good amount of the mysticism aspect has kind of been uh, so, stripped away a bit, because I don't believe, th I don't believe there's any more Bunyip, like any more Bunyip Rainbow Elders this, it's all just, just Critter, just hey, get off. It's just critters versus uh, other critters. Also, um, I want to go back to that a bit with Julius, so uh, like the little tutorial. The icon of Julius in the corner, I know it was supposed to be like him holding up his index finger, you know, kind of like, oh, I'm pointing, here's what you have to do. But because of, like, I don't know if they did this because of just how weird koala hands are since they technically have two thumbs, but it looked like instead of holding up his middle finger, it looked instead like he was just hol holding up his... Well, actually, that's what exactly what it looked like. He was holding up his devil man middle like, finger. It, it, it looked like he was flip, flipping the birdie. <laughs> that's not... I can't believe how to put it like that is. That's not, Fight, that's not Peggy 7 friendly. Get through this prison. Or whatever rating that this game is in uh, I was gonna Australia. Say, how, do, uh, how do they rank it in Europe? Uh, I think in Europe and Australia, especially, I think they go by the Peggy system. Here, I'm gonna look it up. Australia. Or, oh, I, in, in Europe, it's definitely the Peggy system. I want to say um, Australia does something similar, if not the same. But otherwise, it's like koala friend. Oh, jeez. I'm here Let's to help see. you, mate. Don't worry about me. <laughs> or maybe they go by a different, oh, whatever the case, yeah, no. Now it's time for probably one of the more, is it weird that we're, this is literally the very beginning of the game and we're already probably on one of my least favorite sections of the entire game? Oh, lovely. There's, I remember, I do, I do recall that this would be, oh, geez, yeah, they're on the little next. Yeah, here. The crab I do next. Recall, I do recall not being a, a particularly big fan of these defense sections because I believe they can kind of drag just a little bit. They drag and it's very, and... They can sort of overwhelm you at the very last possible instance and pretty much su subdue you within, like, seconds. I am hoping that with the uh, power of, I believe they let me use Gyrain for this, I'm hoping they'll be a little easier to work with. Let's check this anyway, out. Anyway, I so, found an image of the rating system. Yes, I can. Let's see. They go by... Okay, they go by a slightly different system. Yeah, it looks like it... it's called ACB. Yeah, the ACB, okay. And, you know what? God damn it. This, you know, that's not very PG friendly, mate. <laughs> that's not very everyone, but that'll have to do. Also, I love Goodbye. just just how drastically they skip ages in Australia. Because, you know, for us, we have E, E10, then T. The in Australia, it goes from PG all the way to M. Yeah. Oh. They just, they just, they just immediately hop over to, uh... They just immediately Ashley glance also... over PG-13. I mean, I guess it's just a matter of, like, where, when you really stop and think about it, there's not that big of a diff like, di difference in, um, rating between, like, you know, stuff that's fine for seven-year-olds all the way up to, or at least ten-year-olds all the way up to, you know, actual grown, grown te older teens. I guess, I guess not. So. It's kind of like the inverse effect of how we do the the uh, age rating stuff. Where like, again, right around Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, like we got got the elusive E10 rating in between. You know, the E for everyone's for like seven year olds and older, and T rated for thirteen year olds and older. It's we're kind of the paranoid bunch like that. Yeah. Yep. Oops, we go. Got in a little bit higher, but yes, no, I I, I do remember seeing that moment, that seeing that uh, little uh, clip of Shaz is saying, "Watch it!" I remember seeing that. One too many times when I was first playing this game, uh, growing up. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, especially this wave, there's gonna be a lot. Here we go. Jeez, I can't see nothing past this, all this smoke. 
curses the curses this dated HUD system. No, no, no. Okay, but no, in all in all seriousness, uh, I'm definitely looking forward to taking you guys on this little adventure because again, this is probably my favorite of the bunch. Uh, th beyond that, oh my goodness! Yikes! They were just roughing you up. Yeah. Dropship's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, there's one. Yeah, pay, uh, pay, pay attention to how big those icons are on your HUD. That usually means they're getting pretty close to you. Yep. So, uh, beyond that, I guess I'll say, uh, James, do you have any... What, what, what were your experiences like with uh, tied to uh, Bush Rescue? There we go. Oh, hey, uh, you did it. Nice. Oh, so I, guess, so I guess it was the awesome. demon fluffies you had to focus on. on. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. They got a stowaway. Oh, no. oh, you oh, again? You, right? They, you know, hey, they actually followed up on her. She was just kind of a one-and-done one and done sort of character in the first game, but now it's like, oh yeah, she's actually a high, offi a high official on uh, Cass's uh, ranks. I was gonna say, yeah, no, considering all she had was, I think, was a single boss fight with that snow monster thing. Yeah. But, um, anyway, going back to my experience with Taito, um, I definitely remember playing this after the original game, but it was... But, okay. Though, right. so, weirdly enough, this is the first game I actually owned of the three. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, with you? Titan 1, I mostly rented that every ch Water. every chance I could get. If I was in the mood to play it, obviously. But, uh, yeah. Right. That being said, uh, no more time for for uh, dallying on the, dilly dallying on the pass. We gotta go stop her. Yep. Moving forward. Following after her. Wait, she, uh, what was her name again? Oh, Fluffy? Shivers. Shivers. Okay. Yep. Just gotta take well, then who's these Fluffy? guys out. I don't know why. I, thought, I could have sworn there was at least one character that oh, was that it, was called that. Maybe her name is Fluffy, and that was just Shazza doing and giving giving us another taste of a uh, Aussie uh, slang by like saying Shivers is like crikey, like Probably. cripes. Yeah, I want to. I'm pretty sure her name was Fluffy, but I mean, which I mean, you know, a funny little taste of irony. But uh, that being said, you just throw, just throw an L at me. Right <laughs> How, about you, How about you? How about you take the L, love? I refuse to. You're the one getting ratioed hey, today. Fluffy. I can't say that. Yeah, okay, it's Fluffy. You still here, rat boy? All right. I'm not gonna let you I'm break back. this free. Well, oh, I'm back yeah. then. You missed someone you trying to literally you. force oh, smell on them. An <laughs> oh boy. I think you're going to now. Well, what makes now you say? Now I have a new threat that Boss Cass's frill army has to them. They're boy, weird. Enjoy Mutants. We'll learn. We'll, we'll learn more about them and what they're capable of, but effectively they're like, I think they call them Uber Frills for now. Uber Frills. Interesting name. <laughs> Just, yeah, no, uh, <laughs> Just, yeah, no, do know that if you are not on a boss bun yet, you better have a really powerful uh, ring to go after them because uh, they pack a punch. But they also give you a crap ton of old bulls. On the bright side, they're also not super common uh, enemies. They're probably only safe for, like, instances where you actually do get to use the uh, battle bone yep. Yeah, which is good. There, there will oh, be my. there will be more you mechs, for better or worse, that will that will meet. Excuse oh, me. Boy. In the future. Oh, no! Meanwhile, we have Ranger Ken being the t the traditional uh, distraction for our poor team. Now we gotta go save you, you dumb bobcat. I think, out of, I think out of all the voice actor changes, I think he suffered the worst. I thought I was a goner. Eh, I miss him. Yeah, I like the, I like I like the natural gruff of the original. But uh, that being said, yes. At last, I'm free. And this is the part where, like, you know, in hindsight, we no, probably no, shouldn't no, have given him it. a cell with a window. Maybe we should have put him deeper in the as facility. I, your pathetic friends, have gotten in your way. Toodles, time. So long, a loser. <laughs> she got she got away with the bird. She did indeed get the bird. <laughs> Come on, Fluffy, give me the bird! I would love, but the what rating happened? wouldn't allow it. Kes <laughs> got away. You did the best you could, possum. Not a possum! Yeah, he mate. just, like, finally blows up. wasn't for you, I would have been dead meat. Well, actually, isn't possum better. a certain term Next time, of endearment? Uh, uh, it it oh, is. I know, I was just... It's a term of affection, at least. Yeah, it is. I, I just started that as a joke, being all like, I'm a tagger, not a possum. So, maybe oh, okay. Fluffy was on to something. Maybe we could use an army. Great. Pride Hence, we now have this whole subplot. And officially hey! Baramaji Bush Rescue. The scaredy cat. I mean, the tree frog. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you know, kudos to him for open having this whole thing set up in the first place. 
Like that takes some yeah. that takes some serious balls, and uh, well, I mean, good to see that this guy still has them. To his credit, Dennis has finally put his money where his sick, sickly, cowardly heart is, and now has That's funded you, a full-on uh, no. and now has funded a full-on rescue operations you, team. Mate. Basically, basically, yes, basically, Ty and the Tasmanian Tigers answer to the rescue rangers. So a lot bigger, a lot bigger in scale, naturally. Easy, I'm afraid. What? Why not? How so? I just got word that Cass has set up his own country just so he can have Man, diplomatic he did. Un unless they were working on you that while he was in jail, community. he got that country set up really double damn fast. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm positive there's gotta be like some the form he didn't fill out. President of Cassopolis. <laughs> Just yeah, no, I, I gotta admit that's a pretty that's gonna be that's gonna be a pretty big you know plot beat for children to follow back then, myself included. And Sergeant Bluey can't touch him. I don't think Which he can just leave the milk out. Uh, yeah, and I will agree. Kind of a really ramp up of, like, out. information. Like, oh, yeah, no, don't worry. They're just here trying to, uh, you know, <sighs> cause terror. Well, they're trying no to, you know, enslave people or just eradicate us. Now they're We've trying to set up the... Uh, now they're actually trying to play the political bureaucracy Local system. Which, to, I'll be fair to this game, the they really don't do much more with it beyond that. So, don't think too much about it. That is true. They don't really do much with that and oh, i mean it, it's uh, just an easy means for us to not yes, immediately just, just full, do an all scale full scale assault on cassopolis and try to uh, capture wait. him yeah just yeah no i'm looking at that why is his middle fi he they should ha it really should be the, the the second finger from the left that's the one being held up right maybe right, it's because it's... they maybe it's because they're considered two thumbs yeah well, i feel like they could have done a much better way of like illustrating that Anyway, while we're looking at the map here quick and all the other options, what can you tell us about Buramunji? Well, uh, also, by the way, they allow us to turn on this stuff in the uh, revamp version, so that is... You will have to earn them, though, unfortunately. Not oh. like in, not like in Taiwan, where you just have this stuff right from the get-go. Unfortunately, and uh, more on that later. Uh, so, Buramunji Town is our official main hub where we'll be, you know, doing c collecting certain rewards and things. Um, any, any star... That you see, especially if it's colored in, is a mission mission that you can uh, participate in. Being, uh, we can we can meet up with Sneath and this other dude who are uh, two reformed frills who can go us through the tutorial, which may as well give that a work. Uh, we can we can help out someone who needs to gain help out of a tree, I guess, and uh, taking care of some crocodiles in the sewers. That's uh, a croc. Uh, also, I guess I'll go ahead and ask right now. What is your stance on on uh, mission completion in this game? Um, I mean, if it's not, uh, I don't know. Like, th there are some, there are some. Will you go ones. for one hundred percent? God no. <laughs> <laughs> now, granted, I do have access to some cheat codes if I ever, if I'm ever like really stressing for money. Because I mean, as you already kind of see here, we're already gonna need our infrared, our X-ray, our, our you know Omega ring. They, they have a, they, they have a much more fleshed out boomerang system in this game, including a few new rings that they added for the sake of the. Uh, Kickstarter, um, but uh, and I guess I shall say they even have a weapon upgrade system as well. However, they're going to cost buco bucks in terms of opals, which uh, you did notice I was able to get some combo ups when I was defeating a lot of enemies multiple times. But worst case, worst comes to worst, I will have a means of being able to um, uh, purchase rings if I need them. Uh, for now, let's take care of this tutorial bit real quick. Hey, you guys! Crocky, you're a frill lizard. What are you doing here? What does it look like? I'm Shadow. working, mate. Not all lizards are bad, you know. Fair enough. My uh, okay. Well, at least it's pretty quick, and pretty quick to uh, let, let yeah, them go about their business. I'm the cook, and he's the mechanic. Although we sometimes swap jobs. Either way, they're not quite. I'm they're, usually they're, up to me. It's not immediately obvious. They're not quite the best at their job, uh, right, but they do what they have. Oh, well. take care of the bush it's all good. Look, program. they even volunteer as the tutorial help guys. Skills, just as far as I'm concerned, though, this will be the only time they will really be relevant. So uh, don't worry too much about it if you don't don't like them already. May as well. I I'm fine with them. I don't mind them. So right on, mate. let's do it. First thing you need to know is how to get a better look around the place. Yes. You can do that by using the right stick. Just oh. push it left or right to spin the camera around. 
I wonder. I, I wonder how much that ha that voice has to string that poor guy's throat. I can't do the camera I can. but no one can understand what I'm saying. They got that feature in Thank you, Aussie well, Stitch. I remember the 1960 <laughs> games where a single flustered cameraman well, on a unicycle covered the whole Well, I was about to say, like, it's funny. Like that voice doesn't sound too dissimilar to a voice you pull off often, James. Yeah, I guess that's a very good point. Now that you mention it's it. <laughs> It's essentially the logical conclusion as to where Vector's character is going to be in yeah, five Yeah, I was going to say. It made me think of Vector for whatever reason. I jump. will actually be very it's upset easy, if really. that's what Press becomes Vector's voice. Well, if you want more, more, want more of a Vector, then you come to the right place, lady. See, I like that. Whoa. Look at how high they jumped. Uh, but yeah, no, I just... Anyhow, I mean, okay, so as far as we've already seen, like, if you played the first tie game and are more or less familiar with its platforming, you you're, you're right. kind of in the right place. You I don't believe they really actually, watch I don't think they actually added yep. anything to Ty's kind of, move set. Uh, there are a few, Just there are like a few things worth noting. Like, the fact that these guys are, like, some of their dialogue may as well make them sound like family back characters with how much they reminisce. Um, the other than that, um, there are at least, there's at least one thing they add to the game that's, uh... There's one thing that they added that's new to this game, and then there's also one mechanic that was in the original game, but was kind of useless. But they made it, but they actually made it work in the second game. You'll see oh, what I mean good. once we get to it. Give me a quick... Oh, uh, there we go, okay. Oh, uh, okay. I was, gonna do, I was just gonna take care of something real quick here, which is that I would like to invert that, please. Thank you. You want to invert? You weirdo! Hey, this, is, this is what was freak. working for me. Let's point at him and laugh! Ready? No! <laughs> shut, up, shut, up, shut up, you guys! I just skipped their dialogue because. Hang on, let me re let me reset that. Did you skip their dialogue? Yeah, because I think I walked up to them and then pressed the action button the minute I walked up into them. Oh well, whatever. He, they were just talking about the chain binding. Something yeah, I think they also mentioned something about a story about a guy who could eat a whole bunch of pies. Or maybe I'm thinking of Murray when he was uh, talking about. I know that Murray said that once at one point, but. Uh, Anyway, I will not skip that. Again. Here we go. That you can use right. those two rings of yours as makeshift oh, wings. Yeah, that's our glide. That's right. You can hold them out and use them to glide across wide gaps. We can do that. All you have to do is press the jump button. Yes. And when they're in the air, press and hold the jump button again. Okay. And you glide through the sky like Glenn the gliding goose from Glen Iris. Okay, it kind of worked for that one, but all right. <laughs> uh, so I suppose as I'm going forward through this tutorial, you know, not a whole lot going on with the story. Uh, I guess I'll say, James, did you ever play uh, well, the Night of the Quinken? Some water. I mm, but you I know, know I do have the game on hand. I forget if I actually there, gave it much Anyways, of a Ty, gave it the time, time of day though, considering I was it's kind of really. When well, it's because I've never actually pressed the bite button. This. Dive, to this day, I actually haven't really beat Tai Two. Like I've seen Logan beat it to, from beginning to end, but other than that, uh, I didn't really beat it myself. And as such, I wasn't too super like eager to try out Tai Three, especially especially after hearing that apparently it's the most gimmick riddled uh, game in the series. Uh, three or two. Oh, so it, three, two, or three, three. Sorry, it's like it's like they add a lot. It's again, it's it's almost like. I'm trying to think of the best way to describe it. Think of it almost like how Spyro started becoming a lot more about the like m certain mini games or certain vehicle sections and things like that. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, I get like, that. Oh, and to be fair, let's, let's also be real here. Everyone, everyone, pretty much shared the exact same sentiment I did. It's like there's a type three. Yeah. It, 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 for me now, I will say part of me is looking forward to playing type three a bit more than type four. Where type four, if you haven't already heard, type four is basically they just went full on like. They, they went into full, like, side-scrolling, like, action platform as opposed to, like, any 3D collect-a-thon exploration, which I thought was a kind of a step backwards, honestly. Well, it's, I can't entirely blame them for that, considering, like, they didn't exactly have the backings of EA back in those days. So they just had to settle with whatever they had, and they just decided to use what they had to make a previously mobile-exclusive uh, fourth installment. I forgot yes. they made a fourth game, actually. Yep. Again, it was it was just it was just a side scrolling adventure, still dealing with the frills, still dealing with the uh, like. I didn't even know it. I like like I didn't even know it was meant to be a straight up fourth game. I thought it was supposed to be I either be. a reboot or just a spin off. Well, they call it Tie Four, so there you have it. Yeah, can throw that's it officially. Now, I guess I will say, uh, uh, supposing how fast this was, this game was funded. I'm still getting updates from them that uh, I guess the Doomeranger. Uh, comic went pretty well. Yeah, the, uh, the, 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 the Doom Ranger. 
Careful, the mate. Ranger, sorry. There's a I big guess I drop am curious there. if they're you know going to do anything to with. Gaps, um, right? I, I wonder if they are going to make a new Kickstarter for Tie Three. I'm honestly surprised they haven't done it already. Like, I because like I remember the time frame between when the first game's Kickstarter happened and the second one wasn't too terribly um distant. It was like a year. It was like a single year, I think. Or Roughly a like year, right, yeah. And Tie Two's Tie Two's Kickstarter happened like what two years ago at this point. Against Cass's goons. Has it really that? been two years? It feels like it. Like it's definitely again. It felt like a longer time, uh, wait time than again between the two. The only, the only oh, thing oh, I just, I just, I just remembered. Uh, this is one of the new things they added for a type two. When you throw your ring, yep. an it'll actual have uh, lock on no which feature and stuff, running. which I always have forgot about in Tai One. Here. Again, Tai One, it was kind of useless because, um, well, this time we have Tai Two, where when you lock on, you can throw your ring exactly in that direction. Well, See, no such thing. No such thing in Tai One, and that's why it was a very useless feature. Oh, so it would only lock your view, you not your attacks. Place. Exactly. Why don't you give it a burn? Ah, that is that would that would that is a game changer, and uh, they also have grind mills can still. Okay, so so the so the only two major changes to the Tai formula are literally in this in this one section. So there you have it. Gravity can go yeah. suck it. <laughs> We're in the outback. What world? What the whole world in life is tipsy turvy. Well hey. done, mate. You've learned just about every bush rescue trick in the book. What are the others? Thank you. We're not going to tell you. An interesting right, job they're not in the book. <laughs> Actually, anyway, with that big guy, like, he wouldn't even fall down the hole. It'd just be like, I'm not in the book. Poop. And just get stuck in the hole. <laughs> oh, darn it. Not again. It's close enough. All right. So I think so, with that said, I think we're more or less done with uh, the bush rescue uh, uh Hub area. Hub area. So or, why don't we go head on to... Let's go head on to town. Yep. So uh, another reason why I think this would remind me a bit of Tai 2... Or Jack 2 is that they have these uh, loading kind of uh, doors that are just... Uh, loading airlocks, we'll call them. Uh, they're just kind of here. They're just kind of here. So I guess while we're heading into town... Uh, Jordy, hi. What are you all thinking of this place so far? It's it interesting. Cozy. Uh, one and moment, it's... guys. <laughs> No, no worries. So I guess yeah, while we're here in Burramungi, let's check out the townsfolk. Well, uh, there's, a, there's another Tasmanian tiger. No, 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 no. That's a cat like what Shazza is. Uh, no, Sh Shazza's a dingo. Today, isn't it? it's oh. The sort of day that's just then I guess she's a dingo, too. I, I guess, guess so. Th I guess but yeah, no, there, there's more than just that regular old dingo. We have the ring shop, um, literally run yeah, by Ty's sunny. parents. Glad you can Aww. make it into me shop. Hey. I've got some beaut boomerangs for sale today. So Choose carefully, though. We have a no returns policy. Fair. Really? You know, I, so, I still find uh, it funny. Dude, sorry, just real quick. It's like, I know they mauled it this way so that you can be able to see their mouths no matter what angle it is, but just the way that the mouths look on the models when it's like they're like slightly uh, towards um, the camera just makes it look really off putting to me. Makes it look like a little suction cup, like a, eh, that's my mouth that will fish right over there on the side <laughs> there. And, uh, it's a little odd. It shouldn't Haven't be bumping you got like anything that. else better to do, so. Hey, shut up. I'm insulting you, and you're going to sit there and take <laughs> I'm it. trying to give so. you business, old man. Now appreciate so. me. So okay. We have the okay, son. Whatever you say. Come on, Ty. There must be something you want. Anywho, I'll describe. So we have the Camerang, which is a new camera that they added to this Kickstarter version, which basically lets you go into photo mode, because every game needs one of those. Uh, they also can sell a few others, uh, but of course, right off of the get-go, you can just basically i should say you don't you no longer get boomerangs from completing missions you buy them all so here are all of our elemental rings i guess someone had i guess we had to make money to build the shop so we sold all of our rings that james collected painfully in the last game i guess so um actually now that i think about it let's not worry about any of these rings right now we could probably build up for some better options right uh and there is a second shop where you can then buy the upgrade of any ring that you currently own but uh i believe i believe sly is the one that runs that shop Yep, and that's far away from here. Oh yeah, no, he, he's a little off, a little off the a little off the side of town. Trader Bob here, uh, on the other hand, he sells a couple of things. Like you get with if you can find specific platinum cogs, you can buy uh, co uh, costumes for you can buy pal swaps for both Ty and the uh, vehicle that he and Shazza ride. Not only that, if you look up up a little upward, uh, there are he sells uh, the keys for certain bunyips, which you will need for certain missions. Okay, so I it do took know me... that these are required. Okay, it did take me a second There's to some realize. Some of them, I want to say. It did take me a second to realize that the cosmetics and whatnot cost a different currency. Because I was about to say, oh, like five coins for those shorts One. actually isn't that bad a deal. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you you will have to find them. 
<laughs> also, you can buy an extra. Also, if you have the if you have the uh, opals to spare, you can buy yourself some extra health. Yep. Which may look into that later on. But for now, I don't want to break the pacing of this game too too much. Just know that yes, for right now, uh, unless a, unless a challenge specifically calls for it. I guess say, I could say that the Bunyips are our main uh, level gates, so to speak. Bye-bye. Like, uh, uh, the level, like, in terms of, like, what is required, you really want those Bunyip keys more than even certain rings. I mean, certain rings, like the Lasher rings, maybe the Elemental rings are Hello, important. Hello, Toy. Oh. Lenny! Oh, hey, Lenny the Liar Bird! Oh, no, he's teaching, he, 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 he little, he's literally teaching the kids something you shouldn't. Right, I don't know why, but it seems oddly fitting for him to go into Scholastics. Let's see what he's doing. It was amazing, I tell you. <laughs> you hey, Launchpad. Anything like it. I don't think that's Launchpad's actor. Uh, yeah, because like we talked, crazy. yeah, because we, we talked about like most of the actors 20. were changed. Remember? No, no, make that a hundred. To be fair though, this dude's a pretty decent impr impressionist. He was all like, hmm? Yeah. Hmm? And he was jumping all over the hey, place. Hey, at least he's uh, at least he's bragging and about my own exploits. Was trying to squash him, but Ty stood his ground. The Razorback powered toward Ty. Steam coming out of his nose, sparks shooting from what? his hooves, fire coming out of his uh, his ears. He also had a then, scream that was incredibly loud and was not optimized for the audio the engine, so it clips the audio something fierce. <sighs> Never forget. Not just any termite mound, though. Uh, this one was full of a uh, the rare and dangerous killer African mighty bitey ants. Oh, is that what those were? All over the racer pack, distracting. I thought they were just spiders. To save oh, geez, the I, don't village I, don't, I, I don't even know what is scarier: great African <gasps> mighty an bitey ants or an Australian sight. spider. Well, that's enough. You, you can listen to him. He goes on about a number of other stories. Uh, should say that. Uh, Hello, Ty. Hello. Oh. <laughs> <He's okay. laughs> you whack him and he just greets you with a whole bunch of gibberish. Uh, I think uh, he's him too bear hard. Bear in mind, bear in mind uh, about these uh, koalas wearing construction hats. They will become important for a side quest we can do later. But again, only if it's like required. actually we could activate it right now if we want to. Here we go. Good eye, mate. Whoa! We have an hey, Julius, that you've entered the digital realm. Toy, I have ascended to the digital realms. Avoid detection. This bander is using a disguisatron. Didn't you invent that, Julius? Yeah, they didn't keep. Again, most, if not all, the actors were replaced, and unfortunately for Julius, or in this case, he doesn't stretch out his lives like this. It's not just compute calculations. There's actually going to be a whole plotline, plot thread with these koalas that. We're never going to ever explore, ultimately, but it will be interesting enough to see where this goes. But now you need an infrared ring or an x ring, which we do not have, unless we start finding uh, opals. Again, you can either uh, you can either acquire them uh, from defeating enemies, breaking boxes, or finding opal bags around the area. Uh, those are Lasherang rings that I can become Spider-Man with, but only later. Uh, they have the old chrome icons again, like over there. Let me see if I get over that guy. Actually, were the chrome icons ever a thing in the original game? Yeah, they were. Uh, they things? were mainly they're they're mainly used for purchasing uh, cosmetic uh, not cosmetic uh, concept artists things like that. Hmm. And uh, yeah, uh, beyond that, I believe there was a mission this way. Uh, yes. I don't think that's act is that active right now. Oh, I guess yep, it is. There's a uh, yep, if it's if it's colored with a yellow star, it means I can head on over to it. So I right, might as well right might as well do some do gooding. Looks like it's in the uh, cemetery. Yeah. I don't like it. This place has everything. Hey, you are. Booney. What you Booney. Doing? Nothing. Booney, I almost forgot about you. Sometimes. It's okay, mate. Your dad's worried sick about There's also a lot more cutscenes interactions like this. It gets too late. I mean, okay. I guess with all that extra budget they decided not to spend on CG cutscenes, why not spend it on more interaction cutscenes? Yep. I got a load of and, uh, wow, just like dynamite that, mission's done. That needs yeah, some, sometimes it's a, it's just as simple as being a uh, fetch it. quest or just yeah, a good old game of hide and seek. And effectively, that's how this works. Do enough missions until, you know, you get to the part the where it's like, oh, there's the big ones. Yep. Oh, hang on, I'll be right back. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, okay. Man. <gasps> So yeah, as far as uh, what we'll actually be seeing on this map, uh, if there is a gray star, just know that that means that you currently do not have the requirements to uh, 
you know, actually deal with it. Like, for instance, that gray star on the right, you would need the infra rank for. And the one on the left, I believe you either need that or the X rank. Either way, you need something that would allow you to see invisible or hidden Actually, icons. I think they're bo they both serve a similar function. It's just that one of them is the cheaper option, and you do have the next ray vision sort of thing, but it's only it'll only activate when you go into tide, in tide vision. The other one, I think, just, just does the X-ray automatically. Oh, yeah, like as you're just walking around the overworld. That's fair. There we go. And, but, yeah, no, naturally, uh, that's the more expensive option. Also, hey, okay, you. Hello, Ty. Good talk, buddy. Okay, now <laughs> let's go. Unit. Oh, hey. I, oh, wow. The, you know, what a perfect pair of friends. The, ro the robot that we all unit. thought was going to be a dangerous threat in the first game. And just, here he is. Yeah, we and, don't actually and then, know and then, there, and then there's the guy who, ha who hates her, who hates who hates every inch of his life because he has to wear that costume every day. Oh, good, yeah. he's back. <laughs> it's, it's not that bad. It's just a very odd thing. I don't think they ever explain how we got that robot guy. No, they never do. He's just he's just one with he's just one of the many denizens of the uh, town. Anyway, I can while we're here, story. the Boromaji sewer workers have been complaining about crocs in the sewers. Now they're working well, in the wrong country if they don't like crocs in the myself, sewers. But I've uh, got other pressing matters to take care of. Oh, yeah, no. Do you take there. care of it for me, well, mate? I'm scared it of crocs. Like a dirty job. Well, but I'll give I it a respect go. your honesty. You little beauty. But I will still consider you a wimp for later. So now, <laughs> we just get to explore and, and find no all amount of flattery crocs. will change that. So, so yeah, I mean, we got to go we got to go wallop some some get some crocs and that crocodiles. Yep. I mean, oh, hang on. Oh, I'm picking the capacity. Not that, but I saw this. Oh yeah, much like um, the original Taiwan, there are the many many invisible crates that will unlock uh, concept art to uh, future leisure. Yep. So there there will be a lot. I believe it's almost like a payment system where you find enough of them and uh, turn them in, and then they'll give you goodies for your trouble. Uh, ow! That ain't nice. Jerk. See, that ain't nice at all. <laughs> How's that for you? <laughs> Two on know, the other, two on the other foot, ain't it? You know, I'm not gonna lie. Just, just from a sound design standpoint, I kind of wish that the bite attack had a more satisfying chomp to it. I don't know. I, I think the one we got here is fine. It's got a nice meaty, like. I like that. It's, it's, it's well, like, I mean, like into an apple like, at full force. Like when you're not, like when you're not buying anything, it's fine. I just mean like when you do bind it, anything, it doesn't sound really impactful. Oh, I mean, I get okay. So if there's like a critical, like. Bing, or something sound. I mean, th there are some very good uh, sounding rings when we get when we get our hands on them. That's actually why I'm keeping an eye out on these sewers, because it is actually possible to find a rather mysterious bloke. Uh, but and I believe this is the first time we can find him. Uh, and the whole point of him is just to give us some really random sagely advice, while also giving us a butt ton of opals whenever we find him. Yeah, so. he's he's pretty much he's pretty much our guest of the yeah. He's our man of the hour for this whole game. Yep. Uh, beyond that, if you ever get lost for whatever reason, I see that. Thank you. If you ever get lost, just follow the arrows; they'll take you out. So, I mean, beyond that, you're kind of seeing how this works. This game is more or less the more or less structured the similarly to tie one in terms of its little like moment to moment level areas, but it's all in an open world environment. Oh. Oh, well, there, there you are. are. <laughs> Sorry about that. I pressed the wrong button. No worries. Yeah, you doing okay? Yeah, I just had to help out with unloading some groceries and whatnot. Okay. Not a problem. Not a problem. We were just seeing uh, uh, beyond this. Uh, I was just, I was just remarking the fact that yes, that ultimately uh, tie two is structured uh, very similarly to how tie one is, uh, just that they instead opted to go for more open world exploration. Uh, with the same levels uh, peppered peppered throughout. I'm heading deeper and deeper because I want to see if I can find that mysterious man. Oh, there, there he, is. he is. It's Steve. Gob Gubo Steve. I oh. said Gob G Gubo Steve. Both of them, little orange dinosaur. Yo. You're not one of them, are you? No. Eh? You're too small and fuzzy. Say, I've got some Gubo juice. Do you want some? Ah, uh, you don't look old enough. Tell what? you what, what I do have something in my life. Thing meant to I found them while digging up some Google berries. I can you tell can you more about them. him if you'd like to know. And look at that, right away it gives us a good number of uh, opals for our trouble. Uh, so, if you're curious, uh, according to the official wiki that I was looking into about him, he's supposedly over 2 million years old. Hmm. 
like supposedly he's like one of the last known dinosaurs is what I is how I interpret that to mean. I mean, you know, time times can certainly change a dinosaur. Yep, and so throughout our adventure, you may find him uh, hidden, you know, secretly throughout the overworld and in other little missions. And for every time you find him, you get a good number of opals. Again, though, I have a cheat code in case of the worst scenario, in case, like, I am, like, stuck because I, w I do not want to, like, I do not want to <laughs> have to put you guys through watching me grind. Because I will say, if you want to get every single boomerang in this game... Uh, be prepared to grind a little bit because there are uh, they're very pricey and not all of them are required. There are a number of ways you can get opals being again beating enemies which they do respawn if you leave an area and come back. There are participating in cart races when you get access to them. Uh, I think you, are... you can just get them you can even get them from just clearing missions. I believe so too, and I know there are some missions that I think like refresh or something like that. It's it has been a little while since I played this game, and I haven't hundred percented it in even longer. Like I haven't hundred percented it since I owned it on PlayStation Two. I don't think there's um, really anything you get for you do for clearing all the missions in this game, unless I'm mistaken. Nah, again, it's mainly just if you want to like if you want to get like little goodies like the concept art and there you go. And boop, and done. Time to get out of here. So, I suppose while I'm doing this, uh, Hype and Jordy, what have you guys all been up to lately? Um, Not much. I mean, we've been working on some pretty uh, good content for our uh, project, Tales of Annualia. And mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. what else have we been doing? Well, let me see. Um, aside from that, I know I've been helping out with um, a bunch of other uh, projects done by other groups that I'm a part of, like with uh, Adrenaline Dubs, and um, uh, one of our friends, Joe, is also uh, working on another project of his I've been lending a hand with. Clearing the sewers of all mm -hmm. Oh, cool. All righty. I've also just been chilling out because my uh, my sister's been visiting us for the last few plays, weeks, and this is her last week visiting us, like so uh, uh, the last day before she leaves, up. we're when going to have a, a combined birthday party for Cassis me rooms. and her dog, Teddy. Aww. Aww. That yeah. Cute. Just so long as they don't mix up the cake and the dog food. Oh, trust <laughs> me. The, I'm, I'm pretty sure they know what they're doing. They've done oh, it yeah, before, the, they can do it again. Anyway, uh, we're actually now that we got that mission done and out of the way, I believe it's time to uh, go beyond the uh, gates of uh, Buramudgee to uh, go go through the other means of transportation this game has to offer. Yep. Oh, and if at any point in time it's taking a while, they do reward you for your patience waiting for them to load the game by giving you some free opals from that little fire hydrant thing. Welcome. Hey, Ty, need a ride? Sure, Just as long as you roll the down the window. When you want yeah, I can barely see you past you. those windows. Isn't that isn't that considered illegal? So meet the full B. Basically just a car. You can also throw uh, explosive boomerangs from the top. Uh, so be in the lookout because uh, uh, it's a wide area. This here is effectively our world map for the game. Uh, oh. Wherever you see uh, checkered flags is where you can race for you know a lot of opals should you want to do that. I may do one or two of them, but I'm, I'm not going to make it a priority. And uh, beyond that, anywhere that you see that's brown is typically a place you can stop by and there'll be whole levels to, to find and explore in them. Unfortunately so, for this first stretch of the game, uh, there are certain er certain parts of the uh, road that are blocked off. Yep, so until such a point that we reach, I guess you could call it like the end of a chapter. It looks like I want to go this way first. Uh, so until we reach such a point that we will, uh, you know, clear this act, this chapter, and move on to the I am heading in the wrong direction. Oops. The other Oops. way is the way to go. Excuse me! Also, Excuse if it's me. not immediately obvious from Logan's poor driving display, this thing handles like ass. It's not bad. It just doesn't handle tight curves well, unless you employ the E-brake. And then I, that's right. Then I want to head to the right here. See, those barricades will prevent us from going further in that direction, which is why we're going to go help some Hollywood types out. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Have fun with this uh, ninja gauntlet. From Ninja Billies. Ninja Billies? I think that was well, Bill Farmer, if I'm not mistaken. I don't I think don't he returned for this game. Very, I, would be very I mean, I did check on IMDB him. and he is in this game. He is? Oh, really? I figured yeah. he was only just in the first game. You know who else is in this game? Oh. Oh. Wally Winger, Nolan North, uh, who else is in this game? Hold on, I gotta look it up now. Give me a second. Oh, the Tasmanian Tiger Team voice actors. See, I can do it Where better than you guys. 
I'm sorry. Yeah, that was just, that was mean. No, I'm, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Oh. I, no, I was just wa I was just watching that that one ninja just going crazy with his little side shuffle. And he, like, look, look, look at him. Look at him go. Look, look at him go. go. Okay, so anyway, uh, Greg Ellis is tied. We got Peter Johnson. Peta, Peta, I don't know how they say it. Clement von Frankenstein with a CK as Boss Cass and Terrence. Darren Makes Jennings is right. Dennis the Green Tree Frog and a bunch of other uh, voices. Neil oh. Hunt is Julius. Terrence McGovern is Lenny, the liar bird. Oh, Lenny, huh. always, always, okay, so Terrence was did come back. Oh, so he did? Huh. I was going to say, he, so he sounded pretty much exactly like I remembered him. Hmm. Yep, basically. Okay. I guess I guess they didn't, you know. I guess there were, there were more return there were more returning actors in this project than I thought. Yep, we also got I guess, at least for some of the notable ones. But but I agree that uh, I agree that I want to say sh I think we mentioned Shaz is different. Shaz, Ty, to... uh, Ranger Ken, Ken, and Julius are obviously different. Yeah. Uh, is Sly a different actor too? Uh, yes, definitely. Yes, absolutely. Because oh, he, he sounds uses, way different. He sounds completely you. different in the sequel. No, I'm Sly. gonna oh. mess with you. Uh, Sly Snow is the voice of. Uh, or William Snow is the voice of Sly. Wow. Honestly, Sly Snow. How, how, what an incredible read. word and cruel coincidence. You're fine. I can't read. Anyway, uh, one more to go. I'm forgetting someone. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, before but before you get into that, we still have one more ninja left to find. Yep, and after we do that, we'll have to uh, cover. Oh, I found him. There. He... Oh wow, he is actually not that bad at his job. There you, go. you ate him. We killed him all for you. Nabbit. Uh, What's a big idea, man? You what? just clobbered all our extras. Oh, they're okay. Oh. Uh, Why well, this here's a movie set, you silly boy? We're Beryl and Squeaver. We that is Bill. are the biggest huh. stars in Hollywood. I am we're making up. Yep, that's Bill Farmer. He's Squeaver. Hmm. Uh, sorry about uh, oh. that. I thought you were under attack. Attack? Those ninjas are expensive stuntmen. And now we're behind schedule. Get off my. Sorry. Oh, no. Go on. Oh, Judge. Get. Damn. All right, all right, I get the picture. Didn't this happen last time, too? Every time with these two. Yeah, so effect effectively, uh, that won't even be the last time we have a run-in with them, but effectively there's going to be some uh, unfortunate bait and switching as uh, poor Ty is just trying to do the right thing, and he just keeps getting himself mixed up in, uh, okay. in as many... <laughs> Don't worry, Shaz, will buff out those scratches. Oh, and never that, mind that, Possum. You know what? Now, no the good news is that if I ever do... Now, the good news is if I ever do racing, uh, all the other people don't know how to drive their cars either because they drive little motorbikes. You know I forget if, if in those other racing sequences you do still use this or if it's like the actual kart racing mini game this game has. Hmm. Well, I, hey, you're you're, you're, you're right. It could be a different... Uh, it was just going to be like a joking response of like, no wonder she's driving badly. She's on the wrong end of the car. <laughs> oh, that's just because... <laughs> That's just international stuff. That, yeah, that's a cultural difference, you weeb. Although, the, although, I, although there is one joke that you just remind me of What's that? that I did enjoy, which was uh, from National Treasure 2, I believe. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, Nicholas Cage's friend is trying to like he wants to be the cool he wants to be the cool action star, and he's like, yes, I'm finally gonna be the one to drive the cool car. And he jumps in, only realizing that since they're in London, he just jumped in on the wrong side of the car. Oops. Oops. Well, I believe also, I can get this. Ah. You can, but uh, mo just mind the fire wheels. Now I believe you can uh, negate these if you have the frosty ring. I believe you can. Or just also, the, also for those that are concerned, rest assured, this game does not have a life system. Nope. Uh, mu it's much nicer on that part. Uh, part. Just once again, uh, find where the dunnies are, your uh, outhouse uh, checkpoints, and you'll be good to go. I usually like standing here because you can actually, fun fact, you don't gotta run around like a chicken with your head cut off. Just stand there and it'll just pop up. And here's again how this whole thing works. Get to an overworld, uh, get to a big overworld level, find the entrance, and there's your new, uh, you know, carpet, carp compartmentalized level from Taiwan. Um, can I just say, so, it's so weird yeah. saying the word dunny. Well, that's, well, that's, their, that's, their, that's their slang for outhouses. I know, it's but still, it's weird. And also, speaking of 
you know, stuff that I've been doing in Australia. I've also yeah. been catching up on the brand new season of Bluey. Oh, so Bluey is meant to it is meant to be taking place in the, in Australia. Yeah, it, it was made by an Australian company, and Bluey is a uh, blue healer, while her sister Bingo is a red healer. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've it's heard, actually a very the, cute I've, show and funny too. I've seen a couple of fun little like writing moments. Like I I don't know which episode it is, but it's the one it's the one where like Bluey is Bluey the name of the da the dad or the kid. Uh, Bluey's the name of the kid. Bandit is her father. Okay. Uh, ban where Bandit's father was, like, playing with a unicorn You mean Bluey's father? Uh, sorry. Bandit. Bluey's father. Bandit was playing with, like, a unicorn plushy like, yes! puppet thing. Yes! Yes, that was the and, one that I was telling Steve about earlier, where the puppet was like, Aid! Where should I get? It was that, and the thing that that, that, that throws me off uh, hype is that at one point, uh, I think at one point Bluey asks the puppet, like, oh, what's your food? P puppet leans in, children. <laughs> just, yes, like, he some, actually like, said that? Yeah, no, he just deeps it. I don't think he goes, like, demonic voice, like, oh, oh. there's actually That's fall damage. Yes, yep. but just, just, just well, I mean, yeah, they gave they, they gave you a glide. I just was stupid and thought I could make the hit on my own. Uh, so, so, I it's mean, okay, that didn't look though. like that fatal of a fall. I only had one pip of health left. I got careless. All right, so it's the mission fine. is this way. Good. But yeah, right, it, uh, it's so but, yeah, funny. No, he, whenever I don't think he did the demon voice, but he did go very like, like that. that. It's really hilarious. Yeah. This way. Like he can be very cheeky sometimes, but he's also very fun, and he—I I consider him to be one of the best father figures in cartoon history. It's a very wholesome cartoon. Yeah. Now, is that a Disney one? Is that a? Uh, it is. Me, it is. It is Disney. Yes. Okay, that makes sense then. It is on it's Disney Plus, so uh, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Hmm. Alrighty. Now, is it now? Do you think it's a show meant specifically for children? Like, were you watching with Audrey, or do you think yeah, stuff yeah, for, like, it, it, it's well? a kids show. Audrey, I first lo learned about it through Audrey. Like, you know, it became her favorite thing for the longest time, and I started watching it with her, and it's very, very good. Yeah, oh, that's sweet. Like, but basically, I think the way I hear it described is that like its intended audience is children, but it doesn't like try to talk down to them. Oh no, that of course fair. not. It's oh. not like Dora oh or anything like that. It's more so uh Hmm, I'm tr I'm trying to think of uh, a good another good show that compares to uh Bluey. Try and think of that. At all. Oh, mm. now we got uh, these new uh, cannon might enemies. So, uh, they take a few extra hits and be careful. Although they're uh, although, although their little birdo mouths are a little small, uh, they fire out massive spike ball projectiles. Like I'll let one of them do it here. Oh, it's actually not the thing. Well, there's still a gun mine. I don't want to deal with these freaking sniff it crap wannabes. There last thing you want is to be, last thing you want is to be a Tasmanian tiger full of holes. Nope. Yeah. And, uh, uh oh, now we do have like freaking. Oh, now we have the freaking oh. tiger robots. Like, okay. No, I'm not. I guess the one. That, I guess the one of Durmudgy was literally the one. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like, uh, Joe, you're gonna kill me. It's like, no, don't worry, Ty, you're giving me great, you're giving me great resource. Oh my gosh, they throw boomerangs as well. <laughs> Julian, you're gonna kill I me. Didn't sign, no. I didn't sign oh, up for this. Give me oh, out wait, of here. Oh wait, technically they're no less, so that'd be a nah, heal. Now they're, yeah, now they're full heals. There we go. Oh my god, Julius, you almost killed me. That means it was a success, right? But think of all the think of all the um, progress we made, boy. Yes, so it's given the Hang locals on. the heebie jeebies. Oh, they want it could already be our first uh, right boss. I believe that is, yeah. Is doing, so oh. be careful. Well, that was also, safe, one, one negative I will definitely give to uh, Bush Rescue is that unfortunately Murray doesn't have as much freedom to be as a uh, sass as a you know, uh, witty or sassy as he was in the original game. Yes, yeah, it's it's glorious, just, all right. There's just not enough uh, interactions with uh, it, with him as there were in the first game. Also, not really, no. Like also, he, guess... he's no longer the tutorial bird from the last game. So again, the, the most he can do is just give give you a reminder of certain mission you can still do. Yeah, uh, but yeah, no, and I guess even beyond that, uh, it, it's from what you just saw there. I guess one other thing to say is that although yes, I think the moment to moment gameplay is a little bit more exciting in this than it was in a uh, Taiwan, which. I guess my only reason for thinking that is I think Taiwan tried to copy too many 
Uh, I think Taiwan tried to copy two, one too many things from Banjo Kazooie and Mario 64. It was, it was, it was fully trying to go for that typical collectathon 3D platformer style, which I, which I felt could make some of the levels drag just a little bit too long. Uh, here, see all that to the left? That's pro it's pretty much all uh, completely optional. Like it'll just yeah. lead you to like maybe there'll be a platinum cog, maybe there'll be opals. Uh, so as you can already kind of tell with which direction I'm heading in right now, uh, I'm not going to make that a super priority. Alrighty. I'm just going to focus on playing the game and showing off as many of the uh, require as many of the missions as I can. But uh, just yeah, know that like I, I guess I can definitely say that unless you want to do what I did the first time I did down, thank you. Uh, unless you want to do what I did the first time I played this game, which is like just really just like buckled buckle up and just sit down for some like hardcore just exploring and stuff unless you're willing to do unless you're really ready and willing to do that uh it's not gonna ultimately be that long of a game i think honestly i could probably beat this in like maybe four or five good sessions at most uh, there's only like what four out why don't you do that okay maybe six sessions but uh, continue I want to say there's only, like, four major story beats throughout this whole game, so I'd say we could probably get this done in, like, four sessions if we want to try hard enough. I say, let's see where the wind takes us. Uh, and I'll probably, how about this, we'll, we'll, like, unless, like, I'm just actually, like, guys, I'm going to pass out here in front of my boomerangs and I don't want them to see it. Uh, I'll just, I'll stop <laughs> the session after each, like, major boss fight. Sounds good to me. Hmm. Which hmm. there are, which there are still so many bosses, but, uh... Uh, really check know. your missions real quick. No, I mean, there's that, but check the pause menu. What are you looking at? Freaks. Anyway, uh, explosive cargo, which that is me using the helicopter to help Ranger Ken with some dynamite. And yet, Patchy, that is our uh, first uh, major well, boss Let's battle. do explosive cargo first. Then we can do, then let's do Patchy. Okay. And uh, yeah, I guess I suppose that is one thing that is, you can usually tell if it's going to be a major boss fight if it usually comprises of just a single name. Like, oh, it's him. Uh, so... or, or, or if the star's in the red. Oh, that I yeah, I guess that is also. I want to say that's that's de that's completely indicative that it's going to be a uh, boss stage. We'll keep an eye on that. If not, then it could just be something that that's randomized. But again, hopefully, when we defeat Hatch, you will be able to get more access to this area. Right if now. not that, then also two different. It could also just be there, just for the colors are different, just to differentiate the types of missions you could still find. I guess. Hang on, hang on. I gotta go kill this. Guy oh crap! Oh boy! Die. <laughs> well, you know. Hang on. He's not dead. Oh. Now he's dead. <laughs> now he's dead. <laughs> I mean, you know what? That's about as good as the freaky stupid shit we saw back in the in the uh, great outback. I'm okay. Where with I that. literally just saw the guy literally standing there. I send a lasso ring right to him. That wasn't. That was fantastic. I I'm love that so much. Yeah, look back on that. So, uh, note here. Uh, where we're heading is a strictly uh, mini game centric thing, which you can tell because the area is actually not all that big. There is no big loading airlock, and when we get in here, all we find is this koala. Why is Little the gate feet. even there then? No clue. Struth, you actually turned up. Yes, okay. that's my job. The dynamite is too unstable to keep close by, so we need you to fly down Danger Gully, pick them up, then take them to the disposal area at Deadly Peak. Mm -hmm. well, good luck finding a pilot. Imagine that's actually Nolan North. <laughs> Actually, Seriously, he is in this me. game, so let me you see if that's him. Anything out there. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, thanks for the vote of confidence. So, we're going to learn how to use the helicopter. Just, you know, move around, throw blast rings in case there's anything you want to blow up, and uh, press the jump button to uh, repeat, hold the jump button to go up or down, because it's just a simple old, uh, it's just a simple old, you know, grab the thingy and uh, carry it over to point A and point B. Uh, on your radar, if you see a red barrel, that's fuel, which you will need because, as you're seeing, uh, if you take damage, uh, you also have your health in the upper left. But if you continuously fly around, you will uh, need to, at some point, refuel, which, thankfully, I said, which, thankfully, even your hook can touch the fuel thing and that'll be enough to give yourself a little boost. Uh, but as we're seeing here, uh, before we can actually get to the dynamite uh, disposal area, we gotta go through a little itty bitty... Uh, entry exam first, just to make sure you know how to pilot this thing. Uh, what's it, up, it, it, a training course slash obstacle course. Yeah. Uh, 
So yeah, I, I will say, Jordy, that, that that koala has like no name. He is just a little NPC. So so I have no idea uh, how I'll be able to tell if that's him or not. I guess the, I'm curious. Uh, does does next to Nolan North's name? Does it give him any sort of name to credit? Uh, it says uh, Professor Carlos, Duncan, and Snappy. Snappy and Professor Carlos and Duncan. I want to say if that's referring to a uh, another uh, to uh, for lack of a better word that. The evil koala? The evil koala scientist, yeah. Not sure. Anyway, one evil moment. Evil koala. Alrighty. We'll have to keep an more, eye we'll that. Try, more on that later. It'll make sense once we... I want to see we'll see him after we're done with the... Uh, for our first well, fight. Yeah, yeah. That'll be where they... Uh, that'll be where they explain about the... Uh, about the stakes involved and just what is going on. So now we're just going to head this way. Excuse me. And there will me. be a few more... What's up? I was going to say, how long until this uh, session is over? Oh, I'd give it less than I'd give it less than 10, 15 minutes tops. Oh, easy to there. Because okay. I just need to. I'm almost there. Because I just need to. I just need to finish this mission and then beat a boss and then we're done. Sorry, yeah. my, my niece came in and wanted to know how long I would be. Oh, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, at most, we're, at most, I'd say maybe another 20 minutes. Maybe less. Probably Audrey less. Audrey probably Audrey less. I don't see things along. Well, my folks want to know, and she just came up here as the messenger girl. Oh, That's fair. Enough. Yeah, no, no worries. And also, as you're seeing here, it's not too hard. Just, just continue, just continue following the red pipe, and you'll pretty much sail over every single. Oh, I gotta go down here. Uh, uh -oh. And then you'll sail over every uh -oh. single. Uh, hang on, just going down. You know, with how much you've been, you, how much you've been, you know, to you pretty much just been that that whole stack of TNT's little just ago. been just been flying around in the wind, and yet it's still <laughs> hey, okay. <laughs> just yeah, dunk it on. There you go. Now we know who to call next. Shame we didn't get to see the aftermath. Ridiculously dangerous job to do. Thanks. Uh, I think. Oh. <laughs> I'll say for what it's worth, even if Ty's uh, characterization, or even though his acting isn't quite as good as it was in the first game, I think his characterization is definitely better. I, I mean, they, I mean, because he's. I would all. I would argue it's because like he gets way more npcs to actually interact with and talk with and you get to learn more about how he's like he's just the he's just the lovable uh sort of i guess kind of a great he definitely can be a brash kind of like oh no i think we just just take the fight to him already we gotta just we gotta finish this now do the right thing he he is the lovable aggressive boy scout essentially yeah who everybody usually starts pinning all the hard work on because he's the one here and willing able to do it yeah he's the able body yeah. he, he's the only able body they can rely on now, die. Oh, oh. oh yeah, watch out for all those crate, those yellow crates. I want to say they're flammable. Yep. Which is way to honk my horn, but I don't think I got one. I could show off a race if anyone wanted to see that. You know what? Just one for now. Just and then one. we'll and then we'll do the fight. I don't think this will, this shouldn't oh, take too long. Hopefully. Okay. So team. yeah, no, we are. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to, to this game's. Uh, sorry, Racing. Mr. Uh, Echidna, sir. Whatever you're supposed to be. I think it is an Echidna. Anyway, uh, don't stick your tongue out at me. See? I don't anyway. do that tongue thing. Welcome to Chalkers. This is basically the big racing thing. You have to spend a few customers. opals, a hundred, but if you win, especially get the best time, you get a butt ton of opals for doing so. See so you, we'll bud. Give this a whirl. And yeah, as James, as James said, this is basically Mario Kart. I believe there is a way to even select this option straight away from the main menu if you're Yes, there is. Play. And uh, there is multiplayer, so say if we want to spare a little bit of time around near the, near the tail end, we could totally dedicate at least one or two uh, races uh, races to have ourselves just going around all toy caught style. Yep. But, uh... And I'll I say for what it's worth, uh, compared to the compared to the, uh, the 4B, this thing does control a bit better. Oh, definitely. It's a lot tighter. Uh, I, I was trying to I was trying to show off there, but I do not believe there are any uh, I do not believe there are any uh, drift boosts a la Mario Kart. It's very uh, it's very remedial. Just like just hold the button to go forward, and that's kind of all you got to worry about. Hmm, I could have there was, but I guess it doesn't matter in the long run considering it's well, still pretty it's still pretty speedy. Yeah, oh, that was supposed to be a guided oh. missile. Yeah, no, I'm still gone. <laughs> it's light. Right, Sorry, yeah. Ranger Kid. <laughs> My back. Like, there's a whole bunch of uh, notable racers you can, like, whether it be you know race against or even play as in the actual car racing. Like, there's again, there's Ranger Ken. Uh, there's uh, Shazza. Um, I saw Goo Goo uh, Steve. I saw freaking Goo Goo Steve. Goo Goo we Steve like, is so there. I de uh, uh, fuck. What was his name? Uh, what's uh, the tree frog? I keep forgetting his name. Oh, Dennis. Dennis. You can play as Dennis. 
And um, I think Boss Cass is another player you can uh, have. I can see that. Also, as you're, also, as you're seeing, thankfully, uh, there is no rubber banding in this game. Nope. And uh, it kind of means that so long as you know how to aim for every boost, which uh, these poor schmucks, I've been playing freaking 200cc and getting all the trophies in that new DLC recently. Uh, <laughs> they're not, I don't think they're going to, they're not going to last long. Just I mean, uh -oh. Yeah, uh oh, somebody got the freeze on you. Well, don't worry, I'm already out there. But, uh, I mean, beyond this, uh, I can see myself doing a couple of these, but it's not really going to be something I'm like... It's not going to be something that I'm, like, desperately going to be doing, unless maybe, maybe like, one per session just to, like, just to talk and get a little casual uh, in terms of things we're looking forward to. Uh, either tonight or tomorrow, we're going to get Kirby's Dream Buffet, which I've heard pretty fun things about so far. I'm definitely curious to see how that'll turn out. Yep. Ta-da! There we go. Number one! And for that, we got our best time. We, got, we beat Shazza and Dennis. Oh, wow, means, Dennis actually caught up. Which means, just like that, an, an extra healthy, hearty thousand to two thousand or so. Let me just double check and make sure. You again. And, and, oh, and you can, do this, like, you can do this like over and over again and just get See a lot you, of opals if you do that. But uh, Interesting. But uh, yeah, no more time for games. Uh, it's about high time we actually took okay. care of the big bad of this session. All right, now we're going to do our job. Now we're going to rescue the place. Uh-oh! Oh! Whoop! There you go. You okay down there? They're, they're hurt. No. I just paid the insurance off this possum. There we go. Here, boss time. Where is he? He's out. Oh, hey, Fluffy. Well, he needs well, well. Hey, Fluffy. If it isn't my favorite Tasmanian tiger. Fluffy! I should have known. Don't sound so eager to see me, love. I was terrorizing somebody. The girl's got to earn a living. I thought, she was, gonna gonna say, I thought she was going to say, you a girl's got to have a hobby. You really hmm. think so? I know so. He's mean, arrogant, selfish, conceited, and a bully. <gasps> Not a That's bully. A lot against him. Yeah, but the money's good. <laughs> How does he pay you? In What's wrong? <gasps> uh, oh, boy. He, they hey. brought in the big boy. Armadillo. <gasps> it is. <laughs> yes, it is Armadillo from DK64. Sick and patchy. But patchy. patchy. So again, so, fairly uh, straightforward. Yeah, so you got the, Yeah, so the tactic with him is Ooh. don't stand ahead directly ahead of him. And definitely don't stand below his derriere. <laughs> I don't think anyone oh, wants to be below his derriere. So what is a robot? For? Uh you say that hype. Keep watching. Yeah, so what we want to deal with is uh he aim for whatever is red on him, because that'll be what uh, takes the most damage, or takes any damage. There we go. Now hey, he's lost his armor. No oh, okay, so there is enamel under there. I thought it was all machine. He's bioorganic. <laughs> okay, uh, mind that now, and now we need to aim. For, now we need to aim for his derriere. Oh boy. Oh, or uh, at least for his tail. <laughs> you don't have to shove shove that thing too far off the poop shoot. Okay, uh, although I will say, basket. like. <laughs> If, if, because I noticed there is like a particular hole Jeez. underneath there. I don't know if I appreciate that foreshadowing. That's don't worry, you don't, as, you don't have to ever aim there. Well, it's not so much aiming there, more so if anything comes out of there. Uh, yeah, I don't they're, they're, they're so. not gonna do that. It's the holes on his back we gotta be mindful of. Oh yeah, Pain and Night, Pain Night, we're actually fighting a, a literal dinosaur. That's I, I mean, after it, I guess yeah. Now that I think about it. Uh, Goobo Steve was not the uh, the only uh, the last remaining dinosaur. I guess it's not. It's a miracle. Goobo, <laughs> your cousins. Oh. Honestly, he really I could see him being the type to oh. just accept them him, them as being part of the family. Don't let that little orange rat. Well, get he doesn't have any more spikes left, so now what can he do? Uh -oh. Now oh, he's boy. bringing out the Susie nine millimeters. Right here, baby. Just tell me where to show. Oh, jeez. They're, they're, a lot small, they're a lot smaller in person. They're also they also home in on you. So just uh, again, just kind of do what I'm doing here, which is just run around, going for the occasional uh, like sweep and strike, and just like that, oh first boy. boss down. Don't worry, he's still okay. I think. Uh oh. No. Oh. Roll credits. Whoop. Nah, we're good. Shit. Well, I certainly <laughs> didn't expect that. To just that look of. Hmm. I forgot that fucking <laughs> cold well, cut right there. Dad, you won this one. Smug little but face. But next time, you won't be so lucky. 
Oh, and, try, and believe you me, the kinds of shit we'll be fighting in this game definitely don't get it, like they get weirder from here. Yep. Incredible work, biological Ty. weapon. And what's You're up, Mori? Stop Fluffy and Cass from terrorizing the kind folk of Steel Springs. Right on. Hey. Red Brain and Cass will stop at nothing to hinder us. Oh, yes. Ah. What's who you call a bird brain? Fur face. Oh, there's the sass I know and love. I'm sure he meant it as a compliment. I doubt it. Boss Cass has such a large cranium, it's obviously a sign of Let's great... Let's not try things. to continue defending oh, him. Good say there, Dennis. Don't <laughs> say it out loud like that and defeat the purpose of the save. Some more jobs for you, mate. What's no up? worries. All right, he is ready to rare to go. Meanwhile, at Box Cash's evil country. Meanwhile, in the fortress of Cass. Ah, Fluffy, you're back. Did you get <laughs> that it? Works too. It wasn't easy, but here it is. I want to so say it's here I where there he is. You have the grid processor. Very good. Ah, <gasps> Professor Carlos. So I that's Nolan. Yeah, that's wow. Nolan. A demonstration of the machine. Mm, it is feasible. That's definitely not a voice I'd expect out of him, so uh, I'll give him yeah, props cool. there. So, uh, Activate what? For koala. The machine. so this is the... probably one of the more fucked up things Cass has Ouch. ever done in his career. That's gotta hurt. So, if we're gonna get, uh, assuming we get to see it in this, I forget if he does. Oh no, you do. It appears that I still Wait, no. need. No, <laughs> they're still missing one key you? ingredient. Yes, yes. I, I will also throw this out there real quick. I guess, spoilers, this machine is what is necessary to create Uber Frills in the first place, but we fought them in the first level. So, either it's a more powerful version, or I will agree that this always felt a little bit out of order to me. Like, I bet. Bruno's gotten himself into a pickle. No. He went climbing in Frillneck Forest, but got stuck. Now we'll, we'll deal with that hand. later. Oops. So yeah, we'll, we'll leave with that another time. Uh, well, okay, maybe one last thing. Uh, notice that dude to your, to your left? Oh, him? Talk to him real quick. Okay. Hello, mate. Did he's, you know a ki was... he's a Kickstarter goon. <gasps> Did you know there was only due to generation backers like Down Under Gamer here that I managed to increase the resolution of Ty's visual perception? You can see all the others in the credits. Aw, so this is straight up a... Uh, he, he made a furry. Aww. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was part of the Kickstarter where you could, they could actually put you in the game, like, based upon a model and stuff like that. And, uh, again, real, again, huge thanks to everybody who funded, including myself and J I think James and I are in the credits or something like that. I'm pretty sure I, I helped uh, back this up. I definitely believe I backed it, but I, I will admit that I, I, don't believe, I don't think it was with this project, but I've been noticing some projects where... Remember when just being put in the credits was just a given, but now you have to start donating more and more and more just to even be wrecking? I don't get the point of that. I mean, neither. I guess it's, I guess it's just, my only, the only thing I could justify, the only reason I could justify is that, like, they only do it so that the credits don't get overly long-winded. Like, you know, we don't, the last thing we needed is another Mighty Number no. 9 situation. That's that is true. true. So real and, quick, and, and, and 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 never never discount those that actually have to input those credits in the first place. That has to take like hours to uh, set that all up. Oh, to oh to optimize and make sure it doesn't take too long and like because always because there have been times where we'd be on credits for over seven minutes. Oh, As God. someone who ha who's had to do that every now and then for the Dub Matters channel, never doubt pe people who actually do go out of their way to list the credits. Yeah, one hundred percent. I've sure. had to do some print. A long time, real quick, a long time ago, I had like a hobby of making DVDs out of uh, things I like find online. So it was ridiculous. I would do things like I would make a DVD of all the episodes of uh, Zero Punctuation or the entire There Will Be Brawl thing from uh, from Escapist magazine. I, I made an entire DVD with chapter select, uh, bonus features, and everything. And I, I had to make custom. Uh, I had to make. I ended up having to make custom uh, credits and that things in them for, in everything. And yeah, there's our first black one. Look at that! Yay! Uh, was there any any other thing we wanted to spend our hard earned opals on, or did we want to go ahead and call that apart? Oh, I could. <laughs> the old the old man Tui go over there. Good day, young Tui. Oh, it's good to see the young people still holding themselves out in this bloody console wars. Almost looked like he was about to lift his walker from the bottom. Yeah. That'd be funny. Yeah, don't worry. Good day, young toy. With that being said, join us the next time as we're going to take care of another grand adventure. See you guys. Good day. Or goodbye. Good day, That's young real toy. nice, toy. I remember when I used to play around in the dirt. 
What did you say, old man? I said... Uh